How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Go, go. Good people. Uh, well, <clears throat> I guess it's early in the morning. My shirt doesn't want to stay down. Which, I guess the reason why I don't wear this shirt, but anyway, what's going on? I want to talk about something. Now, we already know, these last couple of days and stuff has been really different, and you know, a lot of you have been asking me, you know, Raven, if you keep changing your hair, you keep changing your hair, you see when I change my hair, that means someone is after me, or someone is on me. And, um, you already know that, um, I'm trying to not let the other person win in reference to, you know, moving forward in your life, you know, trying to find a man that want to be with you and stuff. And it's hard when you stay by yourself for so long. And due to the fact that you've been by yourself for so long, you kind of set in your ways and it's hard to allow someone to enter into your life when you really know that you don't trust them because it's a man and um how do I put this now I talked to you about this before I was like I must have just tell you you know I wasn't gonna say it because I have too many stalkers on my page and stuff that's you know that's like an ex and stuff and there are people that want to find the information reference to me and stuff, you know, and I don't really like sharing too much. But, you know, I talked about this person before. I said a white man with a black voice and, you know, um, he's been very active as far as, you know, trying to be in my life and stuff like that. I'm not going to put too much out there as far as him, you know, if it gets that far, um, you know, I would bring him forth to the camera so you could meet him, but, oh my god, I've been the itchies. Anyway, well, I guess this is here. Anyway, so the thing is that, um, the reason why I'm talking to you and stuff is not my wouldn't, but the thing about it is that when you are a set in a certain type of way that you become so jaded within yourself, it's hard. Like, it's really, this is like the hardest thing in the world for me to not run, you know, because I'm ready to run. You know, and the thing about it is that I've been talking to my sisters and stuff. Thank you, everyone. You know, talking to me and stuff as far as trying to let Raven fight for the dream of a man. And it's so hard because I don't believe. Like, my whole life is already planned out and stuff as far as, you know, um, no man doing good without one. Don't want one. In and out. Don't want him around me. And this person had been kind of opening up another side of me that I thought was dead, you know. And it's difficult because I like it, but then I resent it, resent them at the same time because I don't want to, I don't want to move forward from the dead person I once was, you know, move forward from that. And, you know, um, it's difficult. It's very difficult because... I don't want to hurt the person, but, you know, I'm ready to run, but my friends told me don't give up on me, you know, don't give up on yourself, fight for you. So, since he's been around and stuff like that, he's been very positive, well, as much positive as he could possibly be, and, um, it's hard. So like I say, it's hard because uh, the safety zone is with no one around me. I don't have to worry about you. you stay with me. I stay with you. And here it is, a person that's fighting for trying to, you know, be around me, be with me and stuff. And oh God, this shirt is driving me crazy. It's, just, it's like a fruit roller, but it just keep rolling up. You know, it's just difficult, you know. And I know some of you have been asking me, you know, why I keep changing my hair. And the reason why I change my hair a lot is because I'm uncomfortable. 
I'm very uncomfortable with someone around me that I do not. I can't say don't want them to be around me because I like them, but in the same breath, they're waking up with something inside of me that I don't want to be woken in one breath. And in one breath I do, one breath I don't, but I'm a Gemini, so it's, it's kind of like going to, um, like two, you know what I mean? It's like, damn, if you do, damn, if you don't, you want someone, but you don't want someone. And, you know, the person's come around and stuff, and they're doing everything as far as I like, kind of, sort of. They're not perfect, so. You know, and like my sister told me, she said relationships are, you know, 50-50, you have to work on them in order for them to work and stuff. But it goes back to me ready to run. I'm ready. When I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I'm... I'm ready to run, you know, and the thing about it is that it's difficult for me to live when I already died, you know. This part of my life has been dead. Here it is 2017 in March, and I'm talking about a man. <laughs> Excuse me. Over 1,500 and this will make 10 videos I've made, I've been without a man. And here it is, I'm talking about a man in a video that's actually very active as far as wanting to be with me, you know, and doing everything as far as actively, everything the other ones didn't, he's doing it. I don't know, but like I said before, I'm just being honest, I'm ready to run. And then like I said, we're ready to go give up on yourself, I'm just so ready to run, like I... This, I hate being uncomfortable. Like, I'm, I hate being uncomfortable. Then I'm thinking, okay, if we go out and everything, somebody may try to start a fight with you, which means if I have to fight, you know, you kind of start thinking of all the odds and stuff. And, you know, um, I don't know. It's just, you have to fight through the damage that's been done. Like, so many people done so much dirt to you and damage. That you're like, okay, what, when are you finally go? When am I gonna read the real you? When am I gonna read the real you? You know, and now I got my hand, my upala, and I'm ready to take it out. You know, and I'm in panic mode like an MF. You know what I mean? So it's just hard. So I figured I'd talk to you. You know, it's hard. I I feel like a vampire just sucking my blood out of my body, but not sexually, but out my neck and just, you know, it's killing me. I don't know. What do you do when you're ready to run and a person is doing everything as far as being right? But you want to get out of it because I don't want to wait for the car to crash. I'm ready to jump shit before it crashes because of my past experiences have crippled me to lie somebody in and even some of them are still contacting me it's, I feel safer with them because I know they're not going to stick around and I'd rather for them not to stick around but now I'm in an uncomfortable situation because this person wants me and he wants to stick around he wants to go out he wants to tell everybody about me. He wants to show me off. He wants to do everything I bitched about in these videos for years. Since 2011. It's 2017. And he's stepping forth. And, um, I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult. When they show up. And um. You're supposed to be happy. And you're not. Because you're waiting for the plane, the plane to crash. Because something just. I don't know. I'd rather feel safe. Than to feel like I'm waiting. Does that make sense? You know even though a person's not deaf. They haven't really done anything that's detrimental. But you're so afraid of. Not being ready when the. Bottom falls. You know, so it's like, I don't know what to do. 
But in the meantime, I'm trying to stick it out. But it's stressing me. But it's stressing me the hell out, you know. So, I just thought I'd tell you why I keep changing my hair. I'm <laughs> stressed out. I'm in an uncomfortable situation, you know. I guess what they always say, be careful what you wish for. Because you just may get it, you know. And here's the person that's trying, and I'm ready to bail. I, I just don't feel comfortable, you know. Have my past hindered my future. You know. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and stuff. And, you know, I want to see if someone else feels that way when you're ready to bail because the situation is so uncomfortable that you just can't, you know. Anyway, I just want to share this with you. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, probably after. Anyway, I just want to let you know I love you. And I'll be waiting to hear your comments. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.